shortly before I get into the story where I I got into trouble with Umajola I want to to lay a little bit of background on what, what the propel uh, uh, good morning good day and good evening everyone uh, this is brother my stolen dealer I am saved and I'm born again uh, I've been thinking uh, of doing this video for a very long time uh, it's been a long time coming I've been thinking on on how I'm going to to do this video because it is a such a personal yeah in, in that way it is very very personal I'm not sure but I'm very clear I think now I'm very clear okay the one thing that I wanted to talk about it is the issue of family it is the issue of family and how we are born and I want to I don't want to say expose or to reveal some of the things that are holding us back as a Christians yes as that came from our families First of all, uh, one of the things that I have experienced in my life, uh, my mother was, was a traditional healer. And she, I can attest that she was very good on what she was doing. Yeah, and I come from the family of Ojola. So as you see the 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 thumbnail that that is talking about Ujola. I come from from that family of Ojola. So I have my clan names and also the clan names of my mother's side. Uh, shortly before I get into the story where I I got into trouble with Umajola. I want to to lay a little bit of background on what, what the propel uh, this thing to came. First of all, I was I got introduced to who is this guy? I'm forgetting his name. His but his name is David. Is, I know it's Daniel. Daniel who? Oh, I forgot his name, but I'm going to link his channel. I forgot his name, but his name is Daniel. Oh, come on. I forgot his name, but I'm going to, to write his name on when I'm editing the video. But his name is Daniel. And also Amanda Bison. Yeah. I got introduced to, to those people and I got to listen a lot of content of Daniel who let me search his name because now I forgot I want to say his surname but I, I, I forgot I forgot his surname but I keep on watching his videos on his channel but what, what was a, a conclusion that I found on watching his channel is that each and every family that was my conclusion watching some of his of one a lot of his video uh, one particular video that is stand out this way where he was doing an interview with the lady is she's from Netherlands? I don't. I'm not sure that she's from Netherlands, but she's from in that in that side. The lady, she was a queen. She was a queen of Mehmet, so she could transform to octopus, and then she was like 
explaining the ranks or on the witchcraft world. So, after getting such content, I think now you have idea on what kind of content that propelled me to 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 get in trouble with Majola. And uh, after that, I got into prayer and fasting. My prayer and fasting was in the surrounding of that. I cut the ties from the covenant that was made by my ancestors to Majola. But I was not, in that time, I was not specific as much. I was not, when I was praying, I was not directing my prayers to to Majola exactly, but it was around in that territory. But I was cutting the covenant from me and on going to my generation. That was where I was cutting the, the covenant. I mean, I was breaking the covenant that was made by my fathers. First of all, people who do not know Majola, Majola is it's a snake that always appear in my family. For example, when the child of Majola, of that of of the Majola clan is born, Majola will appear. And when someone who is Majola is sick, and Majola will appear, and then we, in maybe in three days, in four days, that person will wake up from the bed, and then recovering speedily that is the reality of my family and i know this for a fact i have seen majola in my family and also my mother tell told me that when i was born majola was found in the hospital no one knows on how majola enters in the hospital you see and my Almost of all my siblings, when we were, we were born, we we get into Majola, Majola would visit. For example, my younger sister who was who was born at home, and when we came back from school, then we, my mother was already giving a bath to to her, and then we saw Majola, and we saw Majola that was around the child. So, in, in my family, that thing is real. So, when I got saved, I didn't know anything about, about the significance of, the, of that covenant. Of that covenant of my family. And watching the, the videos of this gentleman and Amanda Bison, I know I, it get me angry because I forget his name. So that you can go and watch by yourself. You can watch his content. He is talking like a very, very deep stuff. And his book and his prayers that he is doing. He he's doing a lot a lot of things, man. And most of the things is surrounding technology on a, a lot of things that he's talking about that we think that it is not a witchcraft, but and when you find out these things are are engineered by witchcraft, you see, are engineered by witchcraft. A lot of things uh, from even from our food, you you will you will get to uh, understand a lot of things that he is talking about in his channel. Those are the things that he covers. Some of the words that he used, I can't. I, I can't even pronounce them, no. but I, I'm going to put his name here and his the ch his channel uh, on my channel here. And uh, after listening to him, what happened, don't mind, I am in the villages, these are the goats that <laughs> are making noise. After watching, I, I was concerned on what is the kind of the covenant that was done in 
in our family, like in this clan of of Majola, what was the kind of covenant and how does that covenant affect us? First of all, I enter into I get into fasting for like three like I first I take like a three days fasting. I was water fasting for three days and I was praying but I did not get a breakthrough, the answer that I was seeking and I keep continuing on doing fasting like like I will eat in the evening, every time I will eat in the evening, in the evening. But as I was doing that kind of fasting, I got it, I got something that came, that, that came, is that every time in my family, there is, there are young people who die maybe before the age of two or before they even finish one year and then i i begin to track this i find out that my mother had a daughter who was older who who came before us and then she passed away while she, she was young and also in, in my father's family also my father had a brother who died before even age of two years, who, who died very young. And also my grandfather had their sister who died earlier. And I tried like four generations and I find out this thing that happened uh, in the family. And after that I got concerned, I wanted to understand on what is this thing. What is this thing? And one day I was praying and then just God, God just revealed or like, it was like the kitchen was moved. I was taken back to the foundation of my clan, like Amabondo Mesa. I was taken back to, to, to that foundation and I, and from there I begin to understand what, what it means to be Majola. For for example, this thing maybe it will show, maybe it will contradict with the history, maybe it will maybe someone will not agree with it, but either way, I this is my experience. And I found it to be so truth. I believe if you are the child of God, please do not take my word for it. Go and make prayers and ask God for guidance on what I'm talking about and so that you can verify it by yourself to God. I think that we have that access as, as the children of God. We have that kind of access to ask God on this is is this true or this guy is family so we have that access in the throne of god so i will urge you to pray on the things that i'm going to share here first of all let me i don't know because i did not write this thing i'm talking from my heart to you to you because i decided not to prepare it on 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 what point i'm going to say this please but try to catch the content and what happened is that when I pray when God was showing me the foundation of my family I learned that the founder of our family which is known as Mbono Mese and if you know that our family Mbono Mese are the royal people they have a, a royal bloodline, but in that royal bloodline, they, they are covenant. Like one of the things that Mpono, or let me not use Mpono Mesa, ne? let's say my ancestor, ne? let me use the, that word, my ancestor. Because maybe some people when I say Mpono Mesa, they will say, they will try maybe to counterpart what I'm saying. 
that me uh, one of the thing that my ancestor wanted was was he wanted power he wanted to be influential so what he did because he was the man who know who knows a, a dark realm very well and among his wives because he did not have like a one wife or two wives he had like more than more than five wives but the, the, the thing is that you don't find other children of Bonomis of my ancestors. The only prominent children are the children of Umtwakas. And what he did is that what he did is that it is cheeky. Okay, let's continue. What he did is that he go and marry this woman who was on top. <laughs> and then this reading, he come and stand here. <laughs> okay, he married a woman who was on top. And this woman, she was a renowned woman who knows a lot of things that could make my ancestor to be a to be a powerful person so he decided to marry her and after marrying her he made her the i don't know i don't know how to explain her but she was very influential to a such i want to just catch me on this she was very inf, she was not influential she was powerful to a such to though she was not the first wife but her children will be the prominent one i don't know that you get me and there were things that were that my ancestors my ancestor needed to to do in order for the children to be the prominent one and powerful one. For example, wherever you go, maybe where you found Majola, he will be known. Even even if it's your work, even if it's your work office, if there's someone who is Majola, you will know that person. It's it's a visibility. It's a visibility power that we have. And it was given by the kingdom of darkness to us. You every time, maybe even if Majola is in the corner, even if Majola is a madman, you know that man is Majola. Wherever you go, that you when you see Majola, you know that this person is Majola. This, this is what was done by, by this woman. So I learned that even the clear so now I'm coming to to this thing, I learned that the clan names of us are also carrying a burden. Most of the people say that uh, our clan name are the name of the people who, who came before us. That is not entirely true. It can be true in some sense, but it is not entirely true because let me just recite my, my, a few of my clan names. I'm going to interpret on what is the meaning of, of the clan name. So I am Majola. And for your information, Majola is a deity who is, okay, I will come and describe her, to how I saw her. her. You see, Majola is a deity. Or maybe if I can use a contemporary language and say she is a god. She is a goddess. Yeah, you, you can use I can use that that word. For example, if you know if you have studied Greek mythology, you will find out there is a woman who is called Medusa. 
but he her head is she had like snakes his hair her hair are uh, the snakes but when when she look at you you will get frozen but also Majola is she is that kind of of a day of a deity but and then she was given my family by by this woman who is Mtwagas. So now I explain that who is Majola. And we are we are saying that Singama told Umtwagas. That means our mother is Mtwagas. Is Umtwa. Our mother. And also we sing ngeba. That means a piece of a bread. Sing all That means we will never get satisfied in whatever that we get. We will always be hungry. We will always be hungry. That we will never have enough. That means a, a small thing, a, a portion of a bread. Not a whole bread, but a portion of it. Of a bread. So that means that we will never get enough. We will never have enough things. And then what happened is that in my family, whenever Majola came, uh, which is now, that one is a messenger of the bigger gods, which is the, the snake. Whenever that snake will appear, one of the things that will be done to to appease to appease or in our language we will say that see God has you see still no see we are afraid of you please go and one of the things that will happen is that Whenever Majola arrived in the family, one of the things, I'm going to explain the items that is given to Majola. One of the things that Majola will be given is an egg, a money, and a tobacco. Those three items are the most important items. I'm going to explain now e, the money that is offered to 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 Majola is yes the allegiance of a wealth that means our wealth will always be controlled by the deities called Majola and when we give the 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 egg that means the the our life, our life, the spam of our life will depend on Majola, on how she like us to live, on how long she want us to live. And the third one, if she uses tobacco, that means we will be always have small addiction to other things that are unknown. Yes. I'm not sure that you you are getting what I'm saying, uh, but again, nevertheless, let's continue. And after seeing this, this this was a vision. What I what I've just explained this thing, I got it through a vision that well that God showed me that okay, this is what happened in your family. Now I begin to pray aggressive. I begin to pray aggressive. Like, no, as I say that, no, now I'm a believer. These things must end in my family. Like in my own lineage, I do not want any covenant that is, that is going the covenant of my ancestor. It must not affect my children. So I must stand in the gap 
and it dismantled the covenant. You see? And as I was doing that prayer, I, rem I still remember it very, very well. Maybe this, this part is going to disturb some other people. But I remember in this house that I was living in that time, it was a rendezvous. I was living in rendezvous. Oh, what okay, can you can call heart, a heart house? Then I was praying, I was praying, I was praying, I was praying. As I, as I was praying, as I was praying, as I was praying, what happened is that it was like 30 minutes prayer, but in the middle of that prayer, it was interrupted. And what happened is that the house, the place that I was in, it begins to, to get colder. It begins to get colder, to get colder. And I do not understand on what, because I know that it was like, it was around like, May so uh, it was not hot, but but the house began to get colder, and as I was praying, it began to get cold. I did not know, and then something just happened. This a woman just appeared in in the house, and she said few few words, and like that was one of the most powerful words I have ever experienced. She said that you cannot you cannot cut or I want to use the right way. He said that I cannot get away from the covenant that was made by my ancestors. For that matter, I am the youngest in the family. What does it mean I am the youngest in the family? It, it means that my, my grandmother or my grandfather, she is born in the third house of the family. My grandfather, she was born in the third house of the family. So that means his father had like several wives. So, so my grandfather was born in that family. And he, he himself, he was not the oldest in the family. He was the youngest, my grandfather. And after, after knowing that, that was it. It means that my family is the youngest in our clan. And also I came from the younger person in, in this youngest family. So I cannot do this. You, you see what I'm, where I'm coming from. And as I was like, when, when she was saying those words like, it was very, I do not want to lie, it was very, 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 very powerful. It was very, 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 very powerful. Those words, when, when she said those words. And like, I was like losing my breath. I was like losing my breath, losing my breath. And this woman, she was like, like, I was looking at her like this, you see. She was very tall and like her back, I could not see the full her back, but I could see that her body is the body of a snake. And after that, something came. Like, it was the Holy Spirit who was whispering to me. He said, the blood of Jesus that was spilled from the foundations of the world. And I, I only say those words. I say, 
the blood of Jesus that was spilled from the foundation of the world will set me free. And by saying that, she disappeared. Like I was, and then in, the, in this stage, I get confused and I was also tired. And I get to, to sleep. I, I tell you, you will not have an, an interest to pray again when you experience that. I want to sleep and I sleep, but something came in the morning that I must continue the prayer. I must continue it. And then now I get to understand on why the Holy Spirit whispered those words for, for me. Like from the, the, the blood of Jesus that was spilled before the foundation of the world. The Holy Spirit began to explain this by saying no. The reason why he quoted those words to me, it is because Umar Jolai, she was speaking the, like she was the ancient. And as the ancient, her word is the last word. So, there is nothing that I can do in this case because she is ancient. So I needed to bring something was more ancient than her, which was the blood. And then what was more ancient than her, it was the blood of Jesus that I needed to bring in the pitch. I needed to, to, to proclaim that the blood of Jesus that was spilled before the foundations of, of the world. You see, before the foundations were constructed, the blood of Jesus was spilled. So now I get to understand, oh, this is what the meaning of the word, of this word, that the blood of Jesus was spilled before, he said, the, the lamb. You see, in the, book of, in the book of Revelation, when he appeared there, he said that he is the lamb. Yeah. That is, he was pilled before the foundation of the world. So before the construction of the world, the, bar, the blood of Jesus was spilled. Even before my ancestor was born, even before the, the covenant existed, the blood of Jesus was already set me free. You see, after that, it was like, after three weeks down the line, I was going from from Tata to Engob, which is, Engob is my home place. So I was going there. So what I did is that I was on this daily fasting. But what happened was strange. And before I go, I went to to Jimmy's Pie and Tata and like I wanted something to drink. Like I take tonic I used to like tonic waters, but since from that day <laughs> I don't like tonic water. So I drink just half of it. that bottle is one point is one liter. Ne? So I drink like into half, like five hundred. And then what happened is that and I get into the taxi and before the, the taxi leave Mutanda, before the bridge of before the the bridge of uh Efata, before you cross that bridge Efata, I start to vomit until the until the taxi arrived and I was vomiting and the the worst part is that in these takes that I was vomiting there's no one who was 
who are saying, can we just, is there anyone with water? Is there anyone, can, can you drive or can you stop? Can you stop? There was no one, people were like, were like speaking, she were like, and then I was, I was like, I was like, and then after I vomited, I have never vomited like that long. It was like more than maybe from from that from maybe it it took like at least one hour eh, to arrive where I was supposed to to get off, and then the takes just just get rid of me and they went their way at my stop and after that I could see that I was going to die in this situation what I did is that I sent a text message to 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 my brother I sent a text message to him I said bra pray for me I am dying I, he knows that I've never sent text message for him. But he got him to pray for me. But you know what happened is that before I just before I got home, I have to go to to the field, Emasimin, and or or on top of the on the top of the field. Uh, this is this is my village. So I had to get there. But as I was trying to walk here in the field, I got dizzy and I passed out. And after that, it was after I sent the text message. But the next time I, the next time I awake, I was at the bed at home. From that point where I was, where I passed out and to home, I, I do not have a clear record on what happened in that, in that situation, who came and picked me. But when I ask the people at home who came with me, they say, hey, you, you, they say no, you came at home. And you just drop your bags and you went straight to the room and you sleep. And I, as someone like me, I wanted to understand and why I did this. So I began to pray about it. I wanted to understand that. I wanted to understand what, what happened. And I asked him, I asked my brother, what kind of prayer that you prayed? He said that he prayed uh, like Peter. The, the scriptures are saying, he uh, say, put all your cares for he cares for you. He said that he prayed that prayer. He said, uh, uh, Peter, uh, second Peter, first Peter, but say, put Hey, I don't know how to articulate this verse, but I say put your cares unto him because he cares for you. And eh? yeah, but I'm going just to put the the scripture here to be accurate. So this is what what happened. And then after he said that I just pray that prayer. He said that Lord, I know that you care for most one more than I. So my care. For him, I put it unto you. That is, that was the prayer that he prayed, and that prayer was more powerful to rescue me, to send assistant angels to pick me and to go with me and to drop me at home. That is my story on how I survived Majola. The attacks from Majola. That was one of the attacks, but ever since from that, I never experienced anything negative from from Majola. But it does not mean that I know, I know, I know that I know that the covenant that 
she had in my family. But when it comes to me and my family, that covenant could not work in its full potential. I might not yet completely delete everything that was agreed upon, but day by day I am working, but I know that the major things have been removed from my list. And unless that I, unless that I, I fall or I rebel against God because it is only God who is keeping me from the harm. Okay, thank you everyone. I hope everyone is enjoying this video. Please, if you do, we are still building a studio for One Point TV Network and we hope for your assistance and any assistance that you have, please don't hesitate to contact us at One Point TV Network. You soon you're gonna see a new brand new studio at One Point TV Network. Please uh, take care of your families take care of yourselves, pray for one another. Thank you very much.